Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Pitts, and I've been asked to give some survival information about the areas that we live in. I'm a retired assistant chief of police. I was a training officer in Santa Cruz before that. Before that, I was a, a soldier in the U.S. Army. I spent uh, 16 months in DMZ police in Korea, and then six uh, months in uh, Laos and Cambodia before I was sent home in the hospital. Uh, my experience spans uh, multiple countries, uh, jungle duty, uh, ocean survival, mountain survival. Um, I'm a, a commercial instrument rated twin engine pilot. I'm a 100 ton open ocean captain. And um, I've lived in some pretty remote places. Uh, while, in, while overseas in Korea, on the DMZ, we experienced uh, weather conditions uh, 40 degrees below zero. In the jungles of uh, Laos and Cambodia on the, on the Thailand border, we experienced extreme heat, extreme wet, and uh, pretty extreme conditions. So I believe this qualifies me to share a few ideas with you. And uh, my goal here is to help all of us over 50, living in a jungle environment on the side of a volcano where we have floods, mudslides, earthquakes, and road conditions sometimes beyond our control. My idea is to share with you some of the tricks that I have discovered and how simple it is to implement them even though we are over 50. So. My idea is to start with what do you carry on your person for your daily use. I never leave home without a pocket knife. I never leave home without a cigarette lighter to start fires. And I never leave home without a sidearm, but that's another story. Weapons, I believe, are a, an important element living in these conditions and when I say weapons I'm talking about things like a entrenching tool, a small shovel to dig yourself out of a mud hole or out of a sand pit, a machete to clear brush so you can if you're out uh, touring the country